what's up? Back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we will be doing a full review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. And I know this palette was out a long way back. Long way back. Is that even a word? Way back. But I just got my hands on it. And since it was from the US and it's difficult to ship products from U.S. to Philippines because it's expensive so I just got my hands on it but wait before we get right into the video please click the subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on the notification bell that goes ding 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 every time I post a video and without any further ado let's get right to the video Boom. So I got the box right here and has all the full information of the ingredients, I think of each color, yeah, ingredients of each color, each shade, each color. It says here it's cruelty free and can be used up to 18 months, so let's unbox it. So we have here, here the palette. It's it still has that velvet packaging, the same with the subculture, modern renaissance, and soft glam. I know their sultry palette is already out, but I just got this. Why don't we make a full review before I test it out, right? And when you open it, it comes with this plastic thingamabob, and it has It has 14 shades. Oh, I dropped the brush. Of course, it comes with a brush. And we have 14 shades. We have here seven shimmers and seven mattes. We have dreamer, summer, wild child, rose gold, celestial, dazzling drama, and base, soul, incense, love, volatile, eccentric, and passion. So we're gonna swatch them all and we'll see. So we're going in first with Dream. So this is Dream. Such a stunning champagne gold shade. Next is we're going in with Summer. It's a, such a beautiful coppery shade. And next we're going in with Wild Child. It's a pinky shimmer shade. I think it's as such a beautiful shade too. Next is we're going in with rose gold, my favorite shade in the palette. <laughs> oh, that's that's stunning. And next is we're going in with celestial, a purple shade. Purple shimmer shade. Beautiful. Next is we're going in with dazzling. Such a beautiful copper gold tan. And then another shimmer shade we have here. Drama. So this is all the seven shimmers and they are all stunning and beautiful. The only thing that I notice when I swatch it, there are big chunks of fallout in the palette but no big deal. I'm not really that mad when it comes to fallout and they are shimmers so it's given to they will have fallouts. But they're creamy and buttery and I love swatching them. I can tell that they are very blendable right off the bat. So we'll, we'll be going in with the matte shades. So this is the base, the lightest shade. Perfect for your base. <laughs> 
call it iron. <laughs> Next we have Soul, another purple shade, a uh, bluish purple shade. If you get what I mean. It has a little bit of iridescent to it. It has a blue iridescent to it, so it's not completely matte. Next is incense. When I read it, I, I always I always says incense. So that's so the very perfect transition shade, which is a bit powdery. It's a bit powdery. So next we're going in with love, which is a pink. I think it's still the iridescent because it has specks of glitter. Oh, that swatch very nicely. It's very pretty. Oh my god, it's very pigmented. I love it so much. Next is I love pink, so that's why. <laughs> Next is volatile, a topi grayish brown color. It's a bit patchy. Next is eccentric. It's such a mustard -y, a muted mustard -y, taupey color. And next is passion, perfect for deepening the look. A bit patchy, but still blendable. So, so we already swatched it all, and the palette look the palette looks decent enough, and only the only the shimmers has fallout. The others doesn't, or we'll see. So, I already have my base makeup on. We're just going to proceed with the eyes. I already primed my eyelids. We're going to make a look. First, I think I'm gonna use Love as my transition shade. Because, I don't know, I just really like the color. So, I'm using it with uh, uh, Zoeva 228. And you can see that Ooh, fall out. Nothing major, but still fall out. I was really expecting since subculture was a terrible palette, but I hope it performs well. And the fall out is not a big, it's not a big problem. So I'm gonna put it in my crease, of course. I can really tell it's very pigmented. And just flick it out because I want it to be winged out. And I can really tell this this shade is very, very pigmented very blendable. Despite the fallout, I'm still amazed. Okay, so we have that on and just do, when you blend it in your crease, do small circle motion so that the harsh lines will be easily removed. I don't know my words. Um, besides the fallout, this shade is performs very well, very great. Actually, well is an understatement, and it's very pigmented. The color payoff, of course, is very amusing. The blendability is very great and I just love 
the shade, how it looks in the eye. So next, we're going in with we're going in with the uh, Zoeva. We're going in with a Zoeva two two seven brush. I know it's stained, but it's clean, but it's stained. So we're going in with Soul. It it is that purpley, bluish purple color. Wow. Just to deepen it up. If you were wondering what am I looking here, I'm looking at the mirrors. Um, the pigment is okay, but let's see if we can build it up to be very intense. And we're just gonna blend it all together with the same brush earlier. And we're gonna add a little bit of passion, which is the burgundy shade. And uh, the fallout is giving is making me nuts but it's okay just to deepen it out here just to deepen the deepen the crease a little bit and try to blend it all I will say this product is very nice unlike the subculture palette this product i think came out after soft glam or subculture -ish? i think subculture i don't know i i forgot the sequence but such a good product so let's just look up the purple my neck hurts And blend it all together to get rid of that harsh line. Would you like me to do a video about maybe giving a second chance? Not to a person, not to a guy, no. <laughs> no. I, I, what I meant is maybe sec giving subculture a second chance. We all know that we all hate that palette because it was terrible. No shade, Anastasia. I still love your products. Would you prefer leaving it the way it is that everyone will just hate this product? Or would you want me to... Maybe give it a second chance if it's worth a second chance because I believe everything's worth a second chance and maybe the second time around the product will be, you know, the more you use the product, the more you get to know, wow, this is very beautiful. I never knew that this product would be this beautiful. So. If you're just willing. <laughs> because I really love the shades of subculture. The only thing that I don't like about it is it's too patchy, it's, the fallout is crazy. I did a look on the subculture palette and I used the yellow shade 
the orange shade and the red shade. I use the yellow shade as the first base, hoping that the second, the orange shade will I I will be using will will deepen the look, but instead it, it made the look brown, which sucks in all aspects, but. Next is we're going in with the Passion Dirt Burgundy shade to deepen this out. To deepen the crease a little bit and blend it all together. I love this. I love the shadow. I don't know why. Oh my god, I love the look. God. Next is we're going in with concealer and we're gonna carve out to make it a half cut crease or and we'll be using the some of the shimmers so the concealer that I will be using is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer and in shade 23 or medium and I will be using an Urban Decay flat concealer brush Okay, so we got the eyes carved out and we're gonna use some shimmers. First, we will be using the Wild Child. It's this pinky shimmer with, I think it's blue or purple iridescent. So, I'm gonna take a patching brush and really pack it into the brush. Let's see first. This is with No Fix Plus. With Fix Plus. Oh my god. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this color in the inner corner, in the inner part of my eye, so that I will have room for another shade. We're using maximum here. <laughs> Love it. It's so stunning. We're gonna do it on the other eye with the same technique. That's beautiful. And next is we're gonna do the, of course, Celestial. It's there. It's like a trademark in this palette. So we're gonna do Celestial, which is a purple shimmer shade. I put it with my hand. Whoa. Stunning. I'm just gonna use a small brush to blend everything in. And it's getting darker. And I hope I'm still seeing. Oh my god, I love the eyes. And just to deepen everything in, I'm just gonna use Drama, which is this darkest purple shade. So 
I did my my eyelashes, my mascara, my lower lash line, and my full and my makeup and my face makeup. The final thoughts about this product: it's very good. It's very pigmented, very blendable, despite the fallout. And that's all for today's video. And I see you all in my next video. Bye.